Hello beautiful person, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Tate and today we're going to be going over why Meg Thee Stallion's new single, Pressure Lysis, perfectly exemplifies the basicness of all modern women in the West. Dude, Future is on the song too, come on man, chill. Oh, uh, we might also cover some trap melody making based on Future and his- God damn it, do we really have to do this? Bro, come on, damn. <sighs> Shout out to the comment winner. Comment below to be featured in the next video. Check out my self-improvement channel. It's pretty cool and I'd love to build a communion of young men aiming for masculine excellence. If you want my best drum sounds from my placements and viral beats totally free, there's a link in the description to my 14 drum kit where you can access that. All right, let's jump into the tutorial. Oh, and please drop a like on this video as it greatly helps my channel against the YouTube algorithm. And just so you know, I'm not lying when I say that. Look at these stats from last month. Anyways, as you do so, I wish you a wonderful learning experience. God bless you and enjoy. So all jokes aside, <laughs> but not really, the Pressurelicious beat has four basic components to it. First, there is a bell that plays a pretty redundant pattern throughout the entire beat, and this provides most of the backbone for the instrumental. So let's start with our own basic pattern using a bell from Flex. I noticed that every 16 bars or so, the bell would completely drop out and this sort of like pad or stereoized buzzsaw would come in playing the chords that the bell was arpeggiating, but just straight through with no arc. This usually played for like eight bars before going back to the bell pattern. So we can create something similar by using this drift synth patch from Citrus. I actually plan to use the Amelie. I'm such a creature of habit and that's one of my favorite patches in Citrus. But I did want some of that buzz that I noticed that the pad and pressure licious had and I just thought this drift patch was a little bit better for that. Okay, so the last main melodic element of this beat is the lead synth, which creates that catchy melody that kind of drones on throughout the entire track. The beat overall is very simple. <laughs> I feel like I've beat that dead horse enough, but I think it's worth noting how simple this lead melody is. Instead of doing a super complex counter melody or trying to replicate some Mozart level harmony, it's literally just three notes playing over and over again. And even though I don't care much for this song or one of the artists on here, dude, hey, fuck you, man. And even though I would never let Megan the Stallion drive my Bugatti, never, that's never. The chick ever drove your Bugatti? Fuck, what the fuck? Who, who that's, is this guy? That's Cap. No, no woman has ever hot driven enough any of my cars Cap. ever. I actually think this song is a good demonstration of something Kenny Beats preaches endlessly. So the last element of this beat is the drums. The programming on the Pressurelicious beat was so simple that I just grouped it all into one section. It's literally just a simple ass beat clap, bro. Like the 808 doesn't even play anything other than C sharp minor the entire time, which is the root key of the song. There are some portions of the beat where the 808 goes to like a fifth or an octave, I believe. But other than that, it really is just hitting on that root note the entire time. That being said, here is a similarly simplistic drum pattern that I came up with for this beat. If I gave off red pill vibes during this video, good. Calling myself red pill would be cringe, but the only thing more cringe is that Meg is literally selling sex to her audience. It's actually fucking grody to me. Like, look at this cover art and the visualizer for the song. Don't even get me started on that, bro. It's literally softcore porn. I really think she should cut it out, but with the amount of plays these simps and hoes are giving her, I don't think she's gonna be letting up anytime soon. 
hey man, more power to her, <laughs> I guess. But future, keep being Ratchet King. Is it a double standard? <laughs> yes, deal with it. I'm gonna let this beat rock for the outro. Again, you can find all these sounds for free in the 14 drum kit, and you can find a link to that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I greatly appreciate you for spending time with me today. I'm going to return to my grotto of concubines now because <laughs> daddy needs some loving. But before I do, drop a like if you learned something new and share this video with the producer who could use some help making trap melodies. Oh, and please subscribe. If you don't, your FL Studio will crash the next time you use it, you'll spill coffee on your MIDI keyboard, and the next video on this channel will be a 10 minute Melodics ad. <laughs> Wait, really? I mean, probably not, but seriously, <laughs> why risk it? Peace.